How do you view Jesus? Do you view him as a counselor? As a hippie? As a model citizen? Scripture says Jesus was a preacher. Mark chapter 1, starting with verse 14 and 15. You guys with me? You guys awake? Did Jesus preach? Now after John was arrested, Jesus came into Galilee. What's that word? Proclaiming. Maybe your Bible translation says preaching. It's the same verb in the Greek that's used for preaching. It's keruso. It means to preach. It means to proclaim. So Jesus came into Galilee after John was arrested and shortly after beheaded, preaching the gospel of God and saying, the time is fulfilled and the kingdom of God is at hand. What's that word? Repent and believe in the gospel. In verse 38, go to the next page. And he said to them, this is his disciples, let us go on to the next towns that I may preach there also. For that is why I came out. Jesus is a preacher. The verb here that he came into Galilee preaching is a continuous. He came, started preaching, continued to preach, and kept preaching until he was killed. Jesus says, hey, I'm not just going to this town. I'm going to go to all these other towns and preach the gospel to them. That's why I came. Jesus didn't just come to heal people physically. Jesus came to proclaim and preach the truth of the gospel that he was accomplishing. Jesus preached repentance. Comes along, first thing he says, repent and believe in the good news. Jesus told the truth, exposed false teachings and exposed idols. Just look at all the places he talks to the Pharisees. They're always promoting idols and promoting religion and promoting do more, try harder. And Jesus comes in and goes, That ain't it. It's me. You can't clean yourself from the outside. You got a dirty heart. Only I can clean that. It says in John 8, everyone who commits sin is a slave to sin. You are bound and chained and a slave to it. But if the sun sets you free, you will be free indeed. Jesus tells the truth. He doesn't say, hey, you guys are all cool. It's okay. He says, you guys are sinners. I'm God, and I had to come and fix what you've made wrong. I've come to live, die, and arise from the grave to accomplish what you never could. Turn from hoping and trusting in all this garbage and trust in me, who I am, and what I've done. It's finished. I did it. That's what Jesus means when he repent and believe in the gospel, not change how you're acting and start acting a different way. Change what you're trusting in. And trust in me and the good news. And that will change how you act.